Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This video presents a uh, riddle, grounding riddle, related to ferrite beads in the ground path. It's related to power electronics. There is a relevant video to this riddle. Here it is, that's the link to it. And I'm going also to put the link at the page of the YouTube video that you are now watching. So what's the background here? Suppose we have a system which has a main part to it and then a subpart to it. And there are some interconnection of power, ground and voltage, and then a signal coming through. And in many cases, we do use a ferrite bead in order to do some filtering or decoupling uh, for ripple not to go into the uh, subsystem or let's say RF or EMI penetrating back to the main system. So this is a practice that is being used quite a bit. By the way, uh, this uh, notation or this way of uh, drawing a bid is from the IEEE 315 standard. It's not used often, but uh, that's from the standard. So the question now is, is it a good idea to put a bid here? that is in the ground path, okay? Aside from here, which we understand very well, there is a filter here, etc. And then the question is, is it a good idea to put here also a bit? And indeed, you can find on the web, for example here, examples of uh, cases in which there is a bit between two grounds. Here is a main ground, there is a another ground, and here is a bit in between. I didn't find the data sheet of this particular bid, this is very similar to it. It's actually the same company, but it's not the same series. I didn't find this may be obsolete. And uh, the uh, parameters are, seem to be pretty close. So what we see here, this is a characteristic of a ferrite bead. We see here the total impedance, total impedance as a function of frequency. And then we have the two components the resistive and the inductive part. This is omega L, X is omega L, this is just ohm. And what we see here is that as the frequency goes up, the impedance goes up. At 100 megahertz, it's 75 ohms. That's what it says here. And we see that there is a resistive part which goes up, this is an AC resistance. That's not a DC resistance. DC resistance of this element is fairly low. This is like absorption of energy, resistive component. And then we have the inductive component, omega L, which goes up and then it actually goes down. So this is very typical. And of course, uh, the peak uh, frequency and the characteristic and the absolute magnitude will change from one ferrite to another. But this is, in general, the behavior of a ferrite bead. So the question is, then, is this a good idea to put a bead here between these two grounds, as suggested here? Isolate ground analog and digital ground at the single location in the ground plane by this bead. And here is another example. We have a system here. There is another system here. This is actually used for, I think it's uh, whether i-fi or bluetooth, I am not sure, some, some sort of a communication unit. And here we see that uh, this is the DC, the VCC. We have a filter here, and then uh, we have a bead here. We have the ground here, and then we have a bead here, okay? And then we have the two signals, transmit and receive, and there is also, there are also beads here. And in fact, there is one nanofarad capacitor. So this is another example with a bead in between these ground, because this is ground here, this is ground here, and then you have a bead here. And finally, we have another example. And here we have a cable that's going to just another system altogether. They are not connected, except for this cable. And uh, what we see here is that, first of all, we do have a bidirectional, this is input and output, this is apparently a bidirectional communication, doesn't say so, but from here I can assume it is bidirectional, which is okay, like a CAN bus. And then 
we have, which is isolated, okay, no galvanic connection, and then we have the, presumably, the DC component, the DC uh, power supply, I presume, and there is a filter here, uh, an inductor, and there is also a bead here in the ground plane, okay? So here is an example, another example of a bead in the ground path. So here are the questions of this riddle. Number one, is the ferrite bead in the ground path a good idea? And if so, when and for what purpose should it be used? Number two, out of the three web examples, which can be adopted without hesitation? Okay, we have three examples here. This is one example. We have the second example. And then we have the third example. And the second question is, out of the three which can be adopted without hesitation, without any question. So this brings me to the end of this uh, riddle. I hope you find it of interest. I'll be happy to get your answers and responses. I'm not sure I'll be able to answer all of them, and I'll give my answers in a forthcoming video. Thank you very much.